Since Monday, doctors and nurses in Zimbabwe's public hospitals have been on strike. They are demanding the government review their salaries, which in some cases amount to less than $25 a month. We are not asking for something that's out of this world. We just want to live a better life. Some of us are married. We've got, some of us have got kids, different responsibilities. So which we, we, with the current salary, we cannot afford. Patients are being turned away from government-owned hospitals. So are students at public schools as teachers also want a review of their salaries. Zimbabwe's finance minister says discussions are underway but held down expectations. So as government, of course, we are sensitive to the plight of all the civil servants and we do whatever we can to make sure we can accommodate uh, some of the demands, obviously within the, the confines of the past of government within the budget of constraints that we face. Zimbabwe's government has struggled with financial issues for years and had to abandon its own dollar in 2009 because of hyperinflation. The new currency, also called the dollar, was introduced in 2019. Alexander Rusero, a politics professor at Africa University in Zimbabwe, blames the government of President Emerson Munanga Guam, who took power from the late Robert Mugabe in 2017. It's a reflection of a government uh, that is confronted with a delicate balance of uh, incompetence and a low opinion of the people. You know, that's where Munangagwa's government differs from Mugabe's government. Mugabe had some sensitivities, especially when it comes to issues of uh, civil servant salaries. You don't just keep quiet when things are like this. Many Zimbabweans have taken to social media criticizing Munangagwa, who they say is not taking care of the country's citizens and workers.